Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam. Uh, today I have another Dwarven Forge unboxing. It's it's been a bit since I've gotten the first set and uh, saved up, got some more. Um, I have the classic Dungeon Remastered core set, and I'll explain a bit why I decided to go with that as my second when, just before opening it. But I also got some more terrain trays, this time the stone and lava, um, and I figure. Uh, you know, these are just basically a new texture of the same thing I got last time. Let's start with that. So, basically, these have been useful for moving around what I already have. And I'm like, I will need a handful more just over time. Yeah, whatever, the little new. Thank you for support thing. Anyways, um, for like 55 bucks, uh, it's two of the 4x8. The stone is exactly the same as the back of the water ones I had before. Uh, the lava texture is quite vibrant, actually. It doesn't actually look like quite as much when I look at my TV, but that. And then there's two of those. two of these. And they're basically metal, and they're neoprene, and there is a little bit of a, you know, the edge, the metal doesn't go all the way up to the edge, but the magnets aren't all the way on the side anyway, so it's fine. Um, and they're just ways to be able to pre-build uh, and move around bits of a dungeon, as well as when you use, like, the lava side, make it where you can have holes in the middle of it, and lava will show through. So... Basically, two 12 by 12, two uh, 4 by 8. Um, I was like, might as well pick those up. Those are good for being able to build things. I'm going to want a handful more. Um, yeah, so I picked those up. Now, the real, <laughs> the real content. The, and it is the Classic Dungeon Remastered Core Set. And it's a bunch of... Mostly floors, walls, corners. It's like a hundred bucks, and it was one that one or two people, like in my when I got the first set, they recommended. Now you're gonna want just some normal pieces, and I start thinking, bah, the fun pieces are what's fun, and that's what I thought most of the time while I was saving up money for my next order. And then it came time to okay, let's see, what can I, what order should I place? What should I order next? And when I looked at things, like I have some pieces from my first order, and whether it's a, a wall, or a floor, or whatever it is, most pieces have a 2 inch by 2 inch footprint. You know, like even the wall, it's a 2 inch by 2 inch footprint, it's just the wall goes over part of it. And the first set that I got had 24, could cover this amount of space 24 times. And it was a little bit more expensive than this one, which can cover it 39. And basically that breaks down as, uh, well, let's take a look here. You get 15 just floors, just like what I, I just had. You get 15 walls that are more simple than what I have. The ones that came in the other set have these arches. This doesn't even have that. It's more basic. You get 8 of the corners, again, more basic. So that's 38. And then you get 2 single pieces and two that will be walls, which basically those four put together make one of these. That's one more, so that's 39. The doors go on top of existing spaces, so they don't really add any more floor coverage, so I didn't count those. I'm not counting the fancier bits. But 39 just pieces of coverage. Let's start opening it up. And that will allow me to do more with basically the rest of what I have, because it means I can cover more table. I can spread out the fancy pieces I have. Oh. And the old black and white. Thank you. Alright. So. 
There's going to be a lot of these, and a lot of them are going to be the same. But, floors. same, but it's coverage, it's table coverage, this, I mean, I'm like, this wouldn't be like the most exciting set to begin with, but it's definitely one that I'm like, it's going to be so helpful, so here are the corners, you know, same, you know, footprint, these ones have walls on the corners, Yeah, is definitely like, I mean, you can build a lot of rooms, I'm sure, with all this, but they're going to be pretty simple rooms. But combining them with, oh, cardboard, uh, combining them with other sets means that, you know, you can make more, more rooms, larger rooms, here's one of those. One buys. Here are the two. Those. And the one by and my comment with these is basically I put these. So I can do it on one of the floors. See? They all fill the same space as a two by two floor. There's that. <laughs> wall, 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 wall. Wall, 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 wall. And again, more. And the thing is, none of these have the... I mean, they all have the magnets for the terrain trays on the bottom, of course. But none of them have magnets in the walls. None of them have lights. None of that fancy stuff. And last thing in the box is these. Anyways, um... And then the last three bits are these doors. These are, actually, here are the door, here's the door I got in the first, when I got the, the other place. They're different doors. Different tops of the doors, different, you know, sides. So that's a, an, another thing, admittedly, like, with getting this set, I got, I think these were called the Kickstarter One Doors, which are just a variety of door. They don't have the columns, they're just more wall, so, anyways, basically they go one way, because this bit of plastic there stops them, fronts and backs are different, and they just kind of blend in there, but there are uh, three of this door, and uh, yeah. So, not nearly as fancy as the Zaltar's game room, but it's a lot more coverage. Almost double, not quite, but almost double the coverage.
And um, I think it'll be a lot of fun to combine it with what I already have. And as I continue to collect, I think it'll be a good you know, basis for being able to fill out larger rooms. I don't just have fancy bits. I have lots of just normal dungeon interior walls and floors and such. Um, but like before, let's, let's build a bit. Uh, to start, uh, well, there's not like a specific like layout. There is the layout that they have on like their images, like their their production, like on the website. So I was like, let's let's pull that image up, and I'm gonna build the dungeon that they'd built. Um, like uh, you know, in the product image, and so I've built the I guess the example of what the dungeon could be made to look like, and it's, I mean, it uses the space, the pieces, uh, as, like, as one more here, because in order to center this door, that's where the single pieces come in here, um, the doors, uh, the doors for a corner, you know, with this style work out pretty well, because of the thickness of this, being pretty close to the thickness of the walls, so. That was neat, but it's, it just makes, you know, it makes for a very simple layout. And I mean, and you can add some enemies here, and maybe as the players you know, explore. But it's still simple. I mean, beautiful for sure you know finely painted well sculpted but it's very basic just like if you were to just draw it out on a battle map it uh, it's the kind of you I mean you can you can get terrain pieces that will Spice it up, but those will be separate. Um, as is, I'm glad I didn't start with this. Start with something cool. Start with something with bells and whistles. But I'm still I think I'm glad I'm, I got it because um, I think I like the <laughs> I like how much space it covers. You know, <laughs> it's. It is a nice sized, you know, bit of coverage. It just needs something to make it look fancy. And the other sets are much better at that. Um, I do want to just play with it a little bit more, though. And I'll, let's see what room I can come up with. And so I've built a dungeon room of my own. Um, which is notably different. Um... I did end up with three pieces left over, but quick thought is like, you can just make basically whatever basic pieces have. can always just go near the outside if the party wants to stage. You know, we stand at both sides of the door and we use a stick to push it open so that we're not in the line of fire from the werebore. Whatever. I mean, they can do that, so. A few extra just normal pieces, fine, whatever. Um... And I did it on one full train tray and one of these little ones here. Um, basically, big open room uh, using some bits here. Uh, basically, making a little alcove here, a little room for treasure or whatever it may be. Um, you know, a little side chamber, door coming up here. Actually, while building it, one of the things I'd considered you can basically have like a whole row of these with a row in between and create rooms that way um, but a lot of it just comes down to the pieces that you have um, you know you only got so much and I was eventually like well I'm gonna end up with a lot more pieces left over uh, you know, a lot of these if I do that because that's using a, a bunch of walls and it's shrinking everything down because you're ending up with more internal walls like that um, but you definitely can uh, just little things like having little outcropping walls here, um, rooms that are weirdly shaped, 
I think makes it already look a little less um, empty. This area feels like this, you know, this is fine. Um, but obviously this room would need some furnishings, some fancy bits, things to decorate it out. But uh, yeah, that's just another layout that you can use the same, you know, core, dungeon, classic, whatever. Um, it's another thing you build, and of course there are many more options for it, because you got a lot of pieces. Um, obviously, the better thing is when you're combining it with other sets. And who knows, at some point I might do that. You, know, you let me know if you'd be at all interested in that in the comments. Um, but obviously, you know, like I like to build, you know, their thoughts and then build something of my own. Um, but as I collect more and more sets, I can, I'm sure, you know, share build ideas. You know, here's how to make a dungeon from these three sets or whatever. Uh, let me know if you'd be interested in that in the comments. Um, but otherwise, I will link to Dwarven Forge. It is, as I said before, it is a luxury. You don't need it. You can have years and years and years of fun playing D&D &D without it. I did. Longest time. But it's pretty. And I like it. <laughs> but it's a luxury thing that I'm like, after, what was it, 15 years or something, I was eventually like, you know what? I deserve nice things. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll link down below if you're going to get into some of this yourself. Um... And of course, you know, if you have ideas of here are the things you need to get, here's what, you know, how you need to expand your collection, let me know. I am still new to Dwarven Forge, but I'm having fun with it. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye.